we were excited to play a game. You know, camp got pretty long there towards the end, and uh, this week's been game week, so our practices have been good so far. Yesterday was a Tuesday. Today will be a Wednesday practice. Uh, it's just kind of how you have to relate the week. But uh, I like where we're at. I think we're um, very, very intense and, and ready to play a game. And we're confident. We've got a lot of good players coming back. We've got some young guys and some transfers that join us. And, uh, we'll certainly be in there playing, uh, and we're looking forward to it. You know, UCI is a very good football team. Uh, we've had some good, good battles with them. Uh, we know a lot about each other, so it should be a really good game. Anticipated differences with UCA: new quarterback, a former Northern Iowa guy. Just kind of what you see with that. Yeah, he's a guy that can take off and run and make some plays with his legs. So that's a little bit different for us as far as our rush lanes and discipline and where we need to be. Um, I felt like the other guy had a really big arm, and that guy we played for the last two years, um, but didn't really have that escapability. So we prepared for him uh, in the spring season when we were playing UNA. He's a really good UNI. He's a really good player. Uh, he gets the ball out quick and can run. So we're going to have to do a good job of uh, showing him different looks and making sure we do a good job in our rush. That running back's kind of lauded as one of the better in the FCS. Just what's he be special? Yeah, they're good. They got a couple good running backs. You know, they're they're good on on making their quick decision, accelerating through the hole. Uh, I think our linebackers are going to have to do a good job of making sure we're gap sound and uh, and our defensive line not only holding their gap but shedding the blocks and making tackles before he gets in the secondary. I think that's a big thing for us. Status of Ty Scott, how's he doing? I know he tweaked his ankle. Yeah, Ty's doing good. You know, we uh, cut back a little bit last week on him, trying to make sure that he was ready for this week. He's got two good practices in. He'll be out there again today, uh, so we feel good about him. Gary Clinton. Who's that? Gary Clinton. Yeah, Gary's still. You know, we'll see what happens there. We got a couple guys that uh, we feel good coming out of camp. We feel healthy coming out of camp. We got a couple guys that are still a little questionable. So it didn't look long term. I know you held out of that practice. Yeah, we're not sure yet. Outside of the quarterback running back preparation, what's it like getting ready for a team you've already played four times in the last you know, two years on calendar, really? Yeah, well, they're going to be a little bit different. Every year you've got a different uh, you know, flavor of teams. So we, we got a pretty good feel for what they're going to do defensively because they have the same coordinator. Uh, and they changed some things in the middle of the year last year to get some of their coverage differences and pressures a little bit. Uh, but every time you play someone in opening game, they do something that you haven't practiced for. So one of the big things is that we get better as the game goes on. That you know we're a lot better team in the second quarter than we were in the first quarter. And we're a better team in the third quarter than we were in the first half. So that's going to be important for us. Uh, the thing that I'm, I'm excited about is that we have the same staff back, almost totally and intact. So we'll be able to make adjustments on the sideline and the communication between our players and coaches, something we work hard at. Uh, and we know we're going to have to do some adjustments as the game goes on. Coach, as long as you've been doing this, what's the sense of anticipation for the first game that you've been working so hard and now you go out against somebody else. Pretty much always the same. You can't wait to get out on the field and play somebody else. You get tired of seeing, you know, the same guys in practice. You get tired of, you know, them cheating on the plays that you run and, and uh, or at least thinking that they do, you know. Um, so it's time to, to see somebody else and, and go through the preparation. I think that's what's, what's fun right now is going through our process of how we prepare for a game, what yesterday's practice was all about what today's meetings and practice is all about, um, so we know we're ready to go on kickoff. Settle on an offensive line? Not yet. You know, we're, we're getting closer. Obviously, four of the guys that, that started last year will be starting. Tavita's done a good job in there at guard. Um, Mark Hutchinson's been out a little bit, so he's a little bit behind. Um, we have another way we can go with the Weems in at center and, and Ryan at guard. So we're still kind of seeing how today and tomorrow's practice goes and see which combination we'll start with. Corner opposite uh, Montre, kind of, uh, that was a big competition for you guys. Yeah, you know, Caleb Blake's going to get the start. 
he's really come on and had uh, two really good weeks. LJ continues to get better and doing a good job. Dre Washington has moved in and, and done some work in at the nickel spot, so he's getting reps at both of them. Um, but right now it would be Blake. Kind of what separated himself when you saw that as a new guy for you? Yeah, it's just great competition. And Caleb plays really fast and real physical, very confident, um, has a good understanding of what we want to do coverage-wise. And uh, we just feel like he's the best option right now. I asked you a few weeks back about going back to UCA or if you'd be able to, I mean, just kind of looking ahead or anything, UT Martin, you said no, you feel like you left something there. Um, just how, how much have you looked at that game um, from the first from the first time you played uh, on the stripes? Well, we went back and looked at it. Kind of got sick. <laughs> you know, we weren't very good. We kind of just gave it away, made a bunch of mistakes. and. Um, it's always hard to, hard to watch. It's good that it's so far behind us now. And we don't have very many guys you know, that play in that game still around. So, uh, um, But you look at it and see if there's any different things that they did or, or you know, what we did. Um, but I'm glad it's behind us. When you look at that, I know you don't spend a lot of time looking at you guys. You want to see what they're doing. But the difference between you guys then and you guys now is just kind of what sticks out the most. It's like. Yeah, you, when you watch it, what sticks out the most is our guys understand our scheme now and the execution of it, how all 11 guys work together. Um, you know, one of the things that's hardest when you first start out and you first get going is to get all 11 guys on the same page. And if one guy makes a mistake on this play, another guy makes a mistake on that play, and another guy on the third play, that's when you're not very good. And that's where we were at right then, is we were, you know, a combination of mistake you know, one guy at a time. Just the anticipation of a, of a first game of the year week. Uh, what's it like for you? Uh, what do you? Is it extra special? From does it separate itself from other weeks? It is. Yeah, there's no doubt. It's a little more intense and a little more focused. And you know, we have certain things in practice that we feel like we have to get done, and execute, and do well um, each day because we work different situations each day. So. It's a lot of fun, really. You get the preparation for the next day's practice, either the night before or early the next morning. And then you get to go teach it to the players and then go out and see what we can execute situation-wise. And um, it's good. It challenges you as a teacher, challenges uh, you know, being able to get the focus of the players in the meetings and then take it on to the practice field. So it's one of the enjoyable parts of coaching, no doubt. Do you enjoy it now more than you did, say, 20 years ago uh, or not? Yeah. 20 years ago was pretty fun, you know. He's an assistant <laughs> coach, not a lot of worries, you know, have a great family, have a good time. I think you know a whole lot more than you really do. So assistant coach isn't a bad gig. <laughs> <laughs> what will you do on Wednesday? Will you have practice here and then travel or do a walk through when you get down there? Or kind of yeah, we're going to uh, have some meetings here, quick walk through, then get on the bus and get down there. And, uh, we try to always arrive somewhere between three and four so we can have the same schedule, do a little stretch and recovery work, and then dinner and, and night meetings. So uh, it'll work out pretty good, I think. Uh, safety opposite Kyrie, Dylan Thomas won that one? Yeah, Dylan will be the, the starter there. He really has done a nice job. The last two weeks, he's really separated himself and um, shown his leadership and knowledge of the game of football. That, that's what's really nice back there is you got Kyrie and Dylan back there now. They both really understand the game and formations and motions and communicate all the adjustments and they're doing a really nice job of it. And just seeing the, his position more of a hybrid safety linebacker type when he was at Northern Illinois, just what, what's he do different than just typical safety that you put back there? Yeah, his ability to tackle and his ability to, to blitz. Sometimes they were in dime packages, you know, when we were recruiting him and studying him. And he did a great job as the dime, which is kind of like a, a linebacker, you know, guy responsible for the tight end, a guy responsible to pressure the quarterback. And he's just a really good tackler and, and uh, does a good job with pressures. Punt returner? Punt returners are doing a good job. one game at a time in terms, but how important is the month of September being? The first four games are, are pretty crucial here. 
Well, I'm going to give you that coach's talk oh, that tell me need to worry about is Central Arkansas because it's true. You know, if we, if we don't take care of business here, the next game becomes a lot more important. So we just you just got to go one game at a time, and that's what you do when the season starts. So that's what we got to do. When you look back at Central Arkansas last year, um, of course, those crazy fi uh, final minutes, um, just being able to get what you see looking back and kind of looking at uh, those last few minutes and what you need to do differently, uh, how that kind of got away from you, anything they did. Yeah, we got to play the deep ball, you know, and be able to understand the, the, where they're going to throw the deep ball and be in position and have confidence when we're in position. Some of that, you know, um, showed up as two freshmen out there and, uh, in great position and not confident to play the ball. And they made plays. You know, they got good players too, and they made some plays. Um, also showed the poise of our offense, the poise of Jason to be able to take us down and, and go score. It was nice to be on the sideline and after they scored, um, going down to talk to the offense and hearing him telling the offense, hey, we're all right, we'll go score and win this thing. So I think that was something that was uh, uh, showed a lot of leadership and a lot of poise on, on his part. It was kind of different going into a year because you haven't really gone into a year where you've known your starting quarterback up until opening, not until game week is when you've announced. But um, how has that been different just having a guy that like Jason to be able to know, hey, we're going in week one with this guy? Yeah, I mean, it's been a lot of fun in practice. There's a lot of times in practice where you know, the receivers make an error or don't stop or don't continue. And it's fun to watch him, you know, be in a position to correct them or help them and teach them and not always just coming from the coaches. So I, I've always felt like that that's when a quarterback is taking the next step forward is when he can communicate with the players during practice on what needs to be corrected or how you got to get on the same page more so probably than corrected. Um, because that's going to have to happen during the game. You know, they don't run over to the sideline. The coach don't come talk to the coach after every play. So he's got to be able to handle it out on the field. I've really enjoyed watching his maturity and his ability to do that in practice. Offensive play calling with Jarkadia just, um, how's that going to be different? I know you're going to want to, you've been talking him up all off season. How, I know you want to establish that. Just what's going to look different from uh, your kind of play calling? throughout the first week, throughout the season. Yeah, we really like Jacardi. I think he's a you know, guy that will give us a lot of punch, get yards after contact, has the ability to hit holes and go. Um, you know, our philosophy has always been to feed the studs. So we've got to get the guys the ball that can make plays. And it's going to be fun to see how it changes uh, our personality as an offense. We don't know yet how we get in the game and get, and get going, but we certainly have a, a list of plays, of go-to plays for him, um, as we do for some of our other players that we know real well. Do you script your opening drive? We do, yeah. We script a number of plays. You come off of it, you know, in certain situations, you get in the red zone or you get to third downs or uh, things like that, you come off the script. But then you go back to it, too. So um, we enjoy it. Our coaches have uh, a lot of input on it. So we come in after yesterday's practice and each coach gives four plays of input and then we get to get up there and put them up. So we have fun with it. Any other questions for Coach? All right, best of luck. Right, thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Yeah.